Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of Journalist Toolbox. Uh, before we get started with Google Earth tools, uh, I just want to remind you that journalisttoolbox.ai website is free. Uh, it contains all kinds of AI-driven tools uh, that are free. Some are paid, some are freemium accounts. Uh, we have an ethics section. We have all kinds of browser extensions, GPT tools, uh, prompt writing resources, uh, a lot of image and video creation tools, uh, all kinds of resources here. Uh, we also have on the right-hand side here uh, more than 100 training videos that are linked right off here that are free. Uh, and a newsletter uh, that comes out every other uh, Tuesday morning um, and is free as well, although you can donate uh, to it if you want to. So it has all kinds of tips and tricks and also has some training videos in it uh, as well. So just a little reminder there. Today, we're going to work with some of the updates to uh, Google tools. Uh, this is a part of an ongoing series that I've got going on uh, uh, Google 2024 updates and uh uh, this bit.ly link, bit.ly slash Google Updates 24, you probably want to open that up because that's got all of our updates on there. And in some previous videos, I went over uh, Google Fact Check Explorer, uh, some uh, changes to generative AI search, uh, which is prevalent now in Google Search Tools uh, and Google Search Engine uh, in particular. Uh, but down here toward the bottom, I've got some changes to earth.google.com, the basic Google Earth. So go ahead and pause this video and make sure you've got this document open, Google Updates, bit.ly, uh, bit.ly slash Google Updates 24. And then scroll to the bottom and open up Google Earth, earth.google.com. We'll get to these other tools in a minute. Just open up Google Earth. All right, welcome back. By now, you should have opened up Google Earth, earth.google.com. Um, you might notice it looks a little bit different than uh, it has uh, previously. Uh, the tools used to be down the left-hand side here. Uh, and now you've got this big uh, uh, project window down here. And some of the tools have moved up here. You can also find uh, many of the tools uh, underneath uh, these drop-down menus as well. Uh, but they feature a few of them out here. The, the uh, Earth Measure tool, uh, which is a little ruler right here. Uh, the uh, add uh, lines or shapes or drawing a path or a shape over something, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, and also how to add a place mark on the map or on, the, or on Earth, which we've had for years in Google Earth and in Google Maps. But over here, you can create things like projects. I'm going to show you how you can create a little tour with that. Uh, but first, I'm just going to kind of zoom in on an area here. I'm going to uh, call up an area here. Uh, um, let's do you know, Los Angeles. California, and we'll just zoom in on that area. And I just want to show you, you know, the line tool and, and the polygon and things like that. So, um, you know, if you uh, maybe had an area that you, know, you wanted to highlight and show, maybe there was a police chase or something down uh, one of the freeways here, uh, you could zoom in a little bit. And this is the 10 freeway that runs east-west through uh, uh, Los Angeles. And uh, if I wanted to draw a little uh, distance on here, I could use this ruler and and let's say our police chase started right here and, and uh, ended right up here, right where the 405-10 interchange is. Good luck getting through that. I lived in L.A. for several years. But this two-mile stretch, you can, you know, uh, it estimates the length. You can do it uh, in miles, meters, kilometers, inches. Uh, if it's over water, you could do nautical miles. So I could, you know, see how far a certain uh, island was off of uh, the coast here, you know, right, whatever I wanted to measure. Um, it'll do acres as well. Um, you also can measure uh, uh, area uh, as well. So I can click on the X up here to get rid of this uh, and go back and re-click on it and open up a new one. Uh, so maybe I wanted to show an area maybe that had some wildfires up here in uh, Will Rogers State Park. I could click around on this and just put some keyframes in and show this area. And it shows me the perimeter and the area. So you can freehand draw on here as well. Um, so that's the major tool. Um, what I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna zoom back out. And, and again, you can stay in 3D mode as you zoom in, you, you'll be able to see things in 3D um, uh, or uh, you can switch over uh, to satellite mode uh, as well, which is the more two dimensional uh, uh, version of this. Um, so I'm in 3D right now and then I can switch back to 2D here. 
Uh, it's always the opposite of what the little pin uh, says here. So I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to show you how you can create a project in here uh, as well. So um, we'll zoom back out and give you kind of the, the wider swath of the earth. Um, a project is something where you're doing like a tour. You want to click through a bunch of different pinpoints and show information about that area. So if you go up here where it says new and just click on that, you can create a drive project. It saves to your Google Drive, which is really nice. Uh, you can also download it as a shape file, a KML, keyhole markup language file. Um, so I can hit the plus sign here and uh, I'm going to save mine as a drive project. You can always export it later as a, as a shape file, as a KML file. You can import it that, then into other uh, pieces of software or uh, you use it elsewhere in the Google Earth products, which is really nice. But I'm just going to save mine on my Google Drive, which is nice because I can go back and, and reopen it at any time. Um, so I'm going to create the project. It's untitled up here in the upper left. So I'm going to call it Big Ten Stadiums. I'm going to give you a quick tour of Big Ten football stadiums. Um, Big Ten football stadiums. And your description, you should always have a sentence or two in here. Quick tour of a few, few Big Ten football Always give yourself your credit here. And I'll add this for the 2025 season. So we're going to have some LA teams, some West Coast teams in here. Some of the Pac-12 teams have moved over into the Big Ten. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Save button. Um, and now I'm going to start adding my uh, 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 markers in here. So I'm going to uh, start in central uh, part of the U.S. and kind of the, the middle uh, of the conference here. Uh, I'm going to start with Ryan Field, uh, which is uh, uh, in Evanston, Illinois, home of the Northwestern Wildcats. Um, notice it gives you the knowledge graph up here on the upper right here. Uh, you can edit this, too. Uh, if you uh, don't like this, you can always go in and edit it uh, in uh, you know, change what's in here. Uh, the stadium's about to go away. Um, it's uh, it's going to be torn down very soon. Um, uh, but I think they're playing one more season in it. Um, so anyway, you've got a nice overview of the stadium. Um, you know, I can click to this and, and uh, you know, uh, freeze it and get a different angle. Um, and then save to projects. So it'll save it right over here within my Big Ten folder up here. Um, and now I'm going to skip around. I'm going to go to a few different places. I'm going to go to the Rose Bowl out in Los Angeles because that's UCLA, which is adding soon to the conference. Beautiful shot of the Rose Bowl, day when it doesn't have a lot of smog. There it is, into the Rose Bowl. And I'm going to skip back and forth. So I'm going to go to Michigan Stadium. Ann Arbor, the big house. Uh, notice too, uh, my pinpoints, uh, you know, uh, here have been, uh, you know, some different colors. You can always change the color of those as uh, as you're going along. Um, and I'll go ahead and save this to the project. And notice here, it gives me the icon size. I can make it larger, smaller, change the color. And I'm going to choose a different color here. I'm going to make it, uh, you know, kind of Michigan's colors here, kind of a little more of the maze. Um, and I can do the same for the other teams and make them purple or, you know, light blue for, uh, you know, UCLA, things like that. Uh, in here, it allows you to update the info. So you know, the, the info is provided by Google. I can hit update and go in and edit it myself. Um, and then on to the next location. A lot of memorial stadiums in this uh, conference. I'll do the University of Illinois one first. We'll zip down to Champaign here. Save that to the project. And we'll start working our way back west with Memorial Stadium in Nebraska. It's where I grew up. It's three miles east of this stadium. Save the project. And I'll add one more. I'll add... Coliseum in Los Angeles, not in Rome. So 
Out to Figueroa, home of the USC Trojans. And we'll add them there. Okay, so now I've got all my locations here. You know, you can always move them around. You can slide them up if I wanted to move uh, LA Memorial Coliseum ahead of uh, Memorial Stadium in Lincoln. You can shuffle them around any order you like, and it'll auto save in that uh, uh, model. Um, so I can go back and click back on Ryan Field if I want to take me back and get rid of it. that. Um, and then you can go down here um, and it uh, allows you to open it up slide. You can insert a slide uh, as well. Um, uh, you know, if you want a text slide, maybe before uh, you can go up here to the upper uh, right hand corner, these three little dots, the little mini hamburger here right next to the title of your project, which is your main folder. Um, you can start the slideshow and play it. Uh, you can also share it, um, uh, make a copy of it if you want to save it and maybe send it elsewhere. You can also, when you hit share, you can share it with other people, much like you would a Google Doc up here. Um, and I'm going to uh, take the restrictions off here. Anyone with the link can view it. You do, probably don't want to let them be editors on it because uh, they would go in and uh, mess it up probably and then copy the link so you can share your project. Um, we'll run a little test here before I ever share it. I always like to take a good long look at it. Um, start the slideshow. And down the lower left-hand corner here, you have the navigation. It starts with one. It's not automated here. You have to actually play through it. Takes me out to the Rose Bowl. Into the next one. Michigan Stadium. And you can play all the way through. Nice little tour. You could do this with anything. You know, Seven Wonders of the World. Um, you know, uh, cool architecture around the world. Uh, you could do a tour of your college campus, uh, maybe if you're in a student newspaper. Um, uh, maybe you could do your team's football schedule this way or basketball schedule this way, because there's uh, a lot of good renderings of, uh, you know, basketball arenas as well as the football stadiums. Um, so then I can take this link, you know, and, and share it, tweet it, uh, you know, post it in my uh, story or something like that. Uh, you know, just copy my link here and, and just drop it in. Uh, and my project will pop up, and, and there it is. I mean, you know, people can play through it, um, look at it, and can open it up, and there you go. There's your tour. Um, so that's, uh, you know, uh, this uh, feature has been around for a while. It's just changed a little bit about how you build them uh, with that left-hand rail and the, the folders and that. It's just a little different experience than what it's been uh, before. So I thought it was probably important to, uh, uh, to share that with you. So let's go back to our handout here. Um, uh, another tool that's been around for a little while is Google Earth Time Lapse. If you click on this uh, uh, link here, you can open up uh, uh, Google Earth Time Lapse. Um, and uh, uh, it goes up to 2022 now, um, all the way up to 2022, starting in 1984. So it you know, plays through the satellite imagery, and you can zoom in, and you can see changes. Uh, it's searchable here. Um, and the 2022 is significant because you can take a look at an area like Malibu, uh, California and see the wildfire damage there. Um, you also can, uh, you know, look at uh, Northern California, Napa Valley. You can see tornado damage in certain areas, um, all kinds of different things. So I can click here and it'll play 38 years of satellite imagery over a given area here. And you can see how the development changes and things like that. And we'll play all the way up here to about 2016. And here's what the, this area looked like in 2016. These are the the foothills, Malibu's right down in here, you know, other parts of LA over here. Um, but as you get up to like 2019, you see a lot of brown, a lot of wildfire damage. 2020, 2021, even more. And then you start to see drought also shows here as well. And you can zoom in a little closer too and see some of the wildfire damage. 2022, we're starting to see some of that vegetation come back. Um, all these Google images are uh, rights-free. Uh, our tax dollars pay for them. So they're using uh, NOAA, uh, you know, National Weather Service, uh, uh, U.S. Navy, um, U.S. Geological Survey, and others uh, to use these uh, uh, images. So I can do a little screen grab of them. Very easy to embed one of these players. You just click in the upper left here, this little triangle in the upper left. It gives you a link and an iframe embed code. So you can embed this player on your site. A lot of people ask me, you know, if they, you can export video out of here, you can't, but you can do a screencast of it, kind of like I'm doing right now. Uh, you just record a screencast of it and narrate it, and, and you can describe what's in it. Uh, I've had a lot of people uh, do that that I've trained in the past. They, they've done that on uh, uh, various uh, 
uh, topics and, and used them you know, to share the video over social media or wherever. Um, up here at the top, uh, yeah, it says we've added imagery uh, from 21-22 to time lapse. Uh, go to Google Earth to explore more. They have some images from 2023 in here as well. Uh, some tours that they've built in earth.google.com, where we just were, uh, as you can play through some of these, uh, showing everything from urban expansion to um, uh, you know, uh, uh, wildfires, uh, you know, weather damage, flooding, things like that. So they've uh, uh, posted a lot of really good tours and, and uh uh, also, time lapse uh, images as well. Sea sea level rise in the coastal cities. Uh, that's been a big one here in Chicago. Our Lake Michigan continues to rise and washing out uh, parts of our lakefront. Um, so it's a very interesting story. Um, another tool that's interesting, if you go back to our handout, uh, is this one right here called Earth Engine Apps. Um, and this is uh, a little more techy, um, but you can take some of these pre-built uh, uh, projects. Uh, and work them into uh, your own time lapse. So you can show uh, change over time as far as global forest changes. Uh, uh, this one is an ocean time series uh, uh, tool. It takes a little while for this one to build. It'll generate a little uh, uh, you know, sea surface temperature uh, data here. And as you can see, it's kind of scary here. It's you know, been dropping uh, uh, quite a bit. Um, it's slowly building here, but you can be able to see the different uh, you know, changes uh, in ocean temperature here. It'll show, you know, kind of the range here, your legends on the left. Um, but uh, you can use APIs to build uh, uh, other uh, uh, other tools uh, out of this basic model that they've provided for you here. Uh, and I, I'll get into that into another video a little later on. I'm still, you know, kind of practicing with this and working with it. Uh, if you're ever curious about whether or not you can use any of these tools, go into the Terms of Service or About Earth Engine. Uh, it'll explain what I just told you, that uh, basically all of this is public record and they're putting it out here anyway, because uh, it was compiled by a government agency that uh, our tax dollars are paying for. So uh, important thing to know. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is the Google Earth uh, tools uh, and some of the changes to them here in late 2023, early 2024. Got a couple other videos up on our handout as well that come from Google that talk about time lapse and uh, uh, some of the features in Google Earth as, as well. Uh, but I wanted to show them to you in kind of a journalistic context. So hang on to this handout. Um, I'll be doing a, another training video on Fact Check Explorer, uh, Google uh, uh, Generative AI Search. Uh, also, some other new features in Google AI Search, including image, image creation prompts, and we'll take those for a little spin. Uh, in a separate video. So that's all I had for now. Uh, tune in to our uh, other training videos and by all means, uh, take advantage of the Journalist Toolbox it's a free website, full of all kinds of resources and AI tools. So take advantage of it.